Number two, number two, let's look at number three. So it's asking us which compound CH2F2 or CF4 experience stronger intermolecular forces overall. So I have CH2F2 versus CF4. So let's draw this out. Let's draw the Lewis structure for this one. So we have, uh, so this would probably be asked in a grade 12 question here. Uh, June 8 says, hi, sorry, I didn't see your comment, but hello as well. Thanks for tuning in, by the way. Um, CH2F2 here. So again, uh, the, the atom with the most uh, valence electrons is going to go in the middle, right? So carbon is going to go in the middle. And then I'm going to have basically H here and H here and F here and F here. Right? And they all have, um, we all know that they can, um, they have, they only need one more valence electron for it to bond. So this, this means that I'm going to get a bond here, one bond here, one bond here, and one bond here, right? So this here is my, uh, this my, is my diagram for CH2F2. And then CF4 obviously would mean that I have fluorines kind of bonded to this carbon like so. So um, let's, let's look at the intermolecular forces in this guy here. In this guy here. So carbon here has an electronegativity difference between carbon and fluorine, right? So I know that this here makes carbon here partial positive, and fluorine is going to pull electron density away from this carbon molecule here. So this will mean partial negative, and this here is partial negative as well. So I have a dipole that's going from here to here and from here to here, right? So these dipoles, um, I have a dipole existing in number three here, and then CF4 here would be, I have electron density being stretched, right? I, and part of this is partial negative, partial negative, partial negative, and partial negative. And this guy here is partial positive. So I have basically all these dipole moments going from this way, this way, this way, and this way. All these dipole moments actually cancel out because I have, again, fluorine is on all, it's it's on carbon, it's one to four carbons here, and all these dipole moments actually cancel out here. So these guys all cancel out, which, which makes this a non-polar, molecule here. So this here, the intermolecular force in this is, is not dipole, dipole. In this case, it would be London dispersion, right? London dispersion would be my um, would be my intermolecular force. And then for CF2, because I have these two dipoles here, and I still have hydrogen here, these guys are not fluorine. So this here would be a dipole-dipole. I will have a dipole-dipole interaction here. So this here would be a polar molecule because I have the electron density is being pulled away from carbon. So in this case, which one would experience the stronger intermolecular force? CH2F2 would, it would experience the stronger intermolecular force. So this solution here is correct. Um, again, they're saying CH2F2 is a polar molecule. That's correct. Dipole-dipole with weaker dispersion forces. CF4 is a tetrahedral structure, right? And this here is a non-polar molecule. You can think of CF4 as CH4 as well, a methane. These are um, non-polar molecules, and they uh, they will have uh, London dispersion forces as their dominant intermolecular force. So the solution is correct. Great analysis here. Thank <laughs> you.